Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you for being here today. I hope that you are all doing fantastic and feeling amazing. Today we are talking about woody, woodsy fragrances, masculine woodsy fragrances. Now, ladies, if you are watching, fear not. Um, maybe some of you even own these fragrances. Ladies out there, I'm talking to you. Maybe you own some of these fragrances here, or maybe you have someone special in your life, whether it be a son, brother, father, family member, friend, whatever the case is. Maybe you'll just find something here to uh, gift somebody. The holidays are approaching, so there are fantastic choices and options here for you. This is going to be a very versatile list with something for everyone. I have one designer and nine niche fragrances to talk to you about today. Stay tuned. Let's go. Welcome back, guys. If you are new here, my name is Dave. This channel is all about grooming and fragrance. If you dig the vibe, subscribe. Everybody hit that like button. It works wonders for this channel. Just trust me. Just, just do it. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Hit that like button or the uh, notification bell also. I'm all about the like button today. Hit it twice if you can. Hit <laughs> that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads and content that I upload and bring to you here on the channel. Are we just going to go ahead and just keep repeating words today no we're not as i said one designer nine niche speaking of niche fragrances guys in the beginning of december that's right only about a month away a month and a couple of days away we have scent explorer max forte shout out to you man i humbly appreciate your invitation yes i will be there live in person with my lovely lady jessica you met her a few times on the channel we will be there and we would love to meet you there but if you can't attend for whatever reason you can still sign up virtually all of the info in the description below click that link check it out i would love to meet you some of my subscribers some of my friends out there love to see you love to meet you in person if you can make it of course if not you could see my pretty face and jessica's prettier face at the event virtually also the first fragrance i'm talking to you about is a masterpiece you guys if you know this channel and you know me I don't throw that M word out all over the place every single time. You rarely hear me say that on the channel. So it says a lot. It means a lot. It's impactful, damn it. It's Platinum Egoist by Chanel. I love this stuff. My Instagram fam, they told me that I needed to get my nose on this. I put my nose on it. I absolutely fell in love with it right off of uh, the, the initial spray. As soon as I smelled it on my hand, I was like, yes, absolutely. I love this. I love me a great barbershop fougere. That's what this fragrance is. If you are somebody that maybe in your early 20s, right, you are fresh out of college, you're starting your career, you're getting a new job, whatever the scenario is, the situation is, this is a great fragrance for you to have in your arsenal, in your fragrance wardrobe, because it is going to have you smelling fantastic. We're talking about aromatic spices here. So you have rosemary you definitely have lavender here clary sage sandalwood now let's talk about sandalwood for a minute okay because i did not see this note on chanel's website on the note breakdown i do smell it maybe it's just me maybe there are maybe there is actual sandalwood in here and they're just like you know what let's trick the people into thinking there's not sandalwood in here i don't know but man do i pick it up here it's a very, very nice fragrance. I love wearing this one. The beauty about this too is uh, when it comes to the office, I know many of you don't like wearing these powerful, potent fragrances into the office. That's not what this fragrance is. It's an eau de toilette con concentration. Um, not that that really means much, to be quite honest with you, because I have some eau de toilettes that perform like extrates, okay? But anyway, getting back to this. It's light, it's airy, it's fresh, refreshing. It's a barbershop fougere done perfectly. This was launched back in 1993. Now, when you think of that, and you may think, wow, 1993, as a 20-year-old, you may think like, wow, that's, am I going to smell like an old man? Absolutely freaking not. I, I promise you, you will not. And you can find this in like your local Macy's or whatever. So definitely get your nose on it, sample it. But yeah, if you were thinking about dipping your toes into fougere fragrances, this is a great place to start. And let me tell you, if you start here, you're in a great spot. Keep watching this channel because uh, I'm going to talk about Fougere fragrances soon. But a great one here, a masterpiece, as I said, from 93 in the branch. And now this is Platinum Egoist. Hey, speaking of Scent Explorer, I found my only Scent Explorer strip 
left. But we are moving now to the House of Creed, a 1987 release. This is Bois de Portugal. Bois translating to wood. So you know this is going to be a woody fragrance, aromatic, kind of um, fougere leaning in a way. Bitter. There is a bitter green nuance here that never seems to escape. So you really have to appreciate bitter fragrances to be able to stomach this one. You have bergamot in here. You have lavender, cedar, sandalwood, that signature ambergris that Creed loves to use. Yeah, definitely found here. This is a great masculine. And you know what? This is a mature masculine fragrance. This is one of those types of fragrances that will definitely put hairs on your chest. But uh, again, not for the faint at heart, not for someone very youthful. I don't believe if you're under the age of 30, well, maybe even 35. If you're under the age of 35, you may not really appreciate this one. Now, I love this. Why? Because I don't need a whole lot with it. This is a 2019 batch. Cannot speak to new formulations, nor do I really care to. But this one is like a one to two spray. Well, two sprays max. One is a little, yeah, whatever. This is a two spray fragrance to me max that that's it because this one is just a beast on my skin I, I don't know about you guys but yeah this one and it's a bit on the polarizing side so really you know if you are into masculine mature type scents you are absolutely going to love this one this is very expensive though so as always because i never recommend you guys blind buy anything i never say this is a must buy i always say must try because I don't condone or recommend blind buying. I just think it's silly and pointless, especially with 35 billion online um, decant websites. It's kind of stupid nowadays to uh, blind buy. I should probably take my own buy advice because I've done that like 200 plus times now. But anyway, that's for me to do, not, not for you, okay? This Creed Bois de Portugal, I absolutely love it. Great woody fragrance. So again, if you love mature, masculine, woodsy fragrances check Bois de Portugal check it out moving on to a house that doesn't get enough love neither does this fragrance I'm talking about the brand Amarud this is white Hinoki I freaking love this stuff it's so good so when you first spray this on it's very interesting because you have this combination of grapefruit and ginger so it's this refreshing mouth-watering grapefruit along with this spicy snappy fizzy ginger right you get the hinoki wood so to me the hinoki wood here is a fresh almost like a blonde wood type of smell at least in this fragrance that's kind of the uh the idea that i get here you also have labdanum in here you have whiskey you have tobacco there's a light boozy feel but it's it's very very faint the tobacco almost non-existent clean musks definitely used here this is professional you could definitely wear this into the office i think it's personally best dressed up this one that's just kind of the way i've always seen this fragrance as just a very professional type of smell um but that's just me you sample it for yourself you try it you think that this would do well for you in a casual setting or whatever do it it's your fragrance it's your money wear spend it the money how you want okay i'm just here to give you recommendations and stuff like that so anyway oh yeah it's just it's just fantastic and it, it does have this bright kind of energizing vibe about it this is great for day wear this strikes me as a day fragrance this isn't something i would necessarily pull out for like a date night or something like that when i want something a little bit more on the seductive side which i do have here but yeah still all in all great fragrance well composed very professional as i said Definitely check out White Hinoki from the brand Amarud. The next fragrance up here, guys, this is one from a brand that gets a lot of talk and a lot of love on Instagram, in the Facebook groups, here on YouTube. Nobody is talking about this fragrance, and I can't quite understand why. This is Leather and Bourbon from the brand Sense of Wood. One of my favorite creations that they've put out. I absolutely love this. You have this fruity, spicy pink pepper here. You have cardamom, you have birch tar. So the birch tar is presenting a little bit of a smoky nuance here. You have sandalwood in here. You have suede. You have thyme. So some aromatic spices here as well. This stuff is gorgeous. This to me is like fall, right? So you have green aromatic tones here. 
you have that suede that leather you have woods in here this stuff is just fantastic now this is one that i definitely would not wear into the office this one would be great if you're going clubbing like as a single guy you're just going out you know into the club hanging out doing your thing whatever that's kind of where i see this fragrance as this is one that i spray on personally just casually you know if, I, if i'm running errands and i have just like maybe a t-shirt like this actually under my leather jacket i like to wear a white v-neck that's just me personally that's my little fashion um i don't want to say tip but that's just the way that i like to wear my, my leather jacket but anyway yeah that's kind of the uh the vibe the setting that myself personally that i see myself wearing this in now again your fragrance do what you want but yeah guys i cannot recommend this enough it, it's so good and again it's one of these uh fragrances that i don't understand why that the house gets the love but this fragrance does not i just don't get it it's so good and another thing before i end um i end the topic with this particular fragrance i do want to say again you know sample this one and i said fruity spicy pink pepper so when I said fruity, I don't want you to think Tuscan or Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. Com this is a completely different fra fragrance. This is like on the opposite side of the spectrum of that fragrance, you know. A great one though, guys. Definitely check out Leather and Bourbon from Sense of Wood. It's also lightly boozy. I forgot to mention that. Oh well. Green, clean, professional. That's how I love to describe this fragrance. Narcotica, self-titled release from the brand Narcotica fantastic you have this cannabis note in here now don't think marijuana think green herbaceous smell right so in here you also have blue cypress you have cypriol oil so adding a bit of a an earthy woody combo to the fragrance if you will you're also going to have this creamy sandalwood some very very sexy white clean musks in here this is a beautiful fragrance also you're going to see in the note peer, the the note breakdown you're going to see oud, but this is more of a sweet oud. It's not going to be that barnyardy or that skanky oud. This is going to be a very wearable oud. Now, wearable, not in a designer way, just in a, a very professional, clean, well-done manner, if you will. I'm not crapping on any artistic uh, oud-style fragrances. I just want to convey the proper message with this one here. And that's what this one screams to me. This is a hyper-masculine fragrance here. Very, very good. I love wearing this one to the office. That's why I call it Professional Clean and Green. Now, this one, I will say, phenomenal longevity with this one. This is one where when I do wear this in the office, it's at a two to three spray max. Actually, not two. Three sprays maximum on me. I do one on each pulse point of my neck here, one in the front, and I'm good to go. If I'm feeling froggy, I'll do one on the back of my head too. Why not? But yeah, this stuff is excellent, guys. Again, another one that's very pricey. So like always, I recommend you try this and not just blind buy it. But definitely worth getting your nose on. Narcotica, again, self-titled release from the brand. You guessed it. Narcotica. Now, this next fragrance here has been on my radar for the past few years now this is a holy grail type of fragrance for me it you guys that know this fragrance may think that that's a bit of an extreme statement to make but that's just how much i love this fragrance and it is rehab from initio parfum Privé. i love this fragrance so much it oftentimes gets compared to spice bomb eau de toilette i understand the comparison however this does go in a different direction. I think with the aromatic spices and the tobacco, that's where it draws the comparison. However, there's two things that separate this fragrance from Spice Bomb that no one talks about when we're just talking about notes. And that's the use of this creamy sandalwood, which blends nicely with the white musks here. And also lavender. This cooling sensation that I get from the lavender is so beautiful. It's a creamy lavender. It's done in a sophisticated manner. Such a well-blended and balanced perfume. I absolutely love Rehab. Now, Rehab is one of those fragrances where you could wear whenever the heck you want. You want to wear it into the office. You know, you want to wear it casually on a date night even. Go for it. This is a head turner. It's a conversation starter and it just smells fantastic. 
I've never come across someone that smelled this on me and say, please don't ever wear that again. It's not what this fragrance is. It's the opposite. You're going to have people asking you what you are wearing. Where do I find something like that? How did you discover that type of fragrance? Those are the only compliments that I fish for. Those are what piques my interest. When folks are asking me those questions, that's what I appreciate. Guys, check out Rehab from Initio. I probably should have told you guys that I pre-sprayed these strips that I've been smelling. Oh well, rookie mistake, huh? <laughs> anyway, the next fragrance that I'm going to be talking about comes from one of my favorite brands. This one is from Argos. This is Danae. This is actually my favorite fragrance from the house. I love the artwork on the uh, on the bottle. The bottle is just gorgeous. I love the amber color juice and the fragrance. The juice itself, amazing. This one is very interesting because you get hooked right from the get-go. You have this uh, Sicilian lemon along with bergamot. So very juicy, very mouth-watering, very interesting and intriguing and kind of has you wondering what's in store next, you know, what's coming, what's what's coming after these bright energetic notes like that. You have these blonde woods, you have this creamy green cardamom here. Very nice aromatic spicy touch along with pink pepper that adds this nice fruity nuance to the fragrance. This stuff is amazing. You know, the gentleman I picture wearing this fragrance is actually a businessman. You are the type of businessman that can close a deal not only with confidence but with a smile on your face because you have that special type of swagger about yourself. That's the type of man that I picture wearing Dane. This stuff is just gorgeous. There's always a link to Argos website in descriptions of every one of my videos. You guys can go check the fragrances out. You can get yourself a sample pack, sample the whole house, explore it. You are going to find great fragrances within the house. Dene is just an absolute stunner. I love this one. Again, my favorite from the house. You guys could see that juice level is really, really dropping fast. Yeah, I love this one, guys. The next fragrance up here. So I lived with a decant for like long enough. <laughs> and then I pulled the trigger on a full bottle because I just love it that much. Comes from Raja Parfum. And this is Apex. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is so good. So once the fragrance opens up, right? So you, you spray the initial spray there. You have this mandarin paired with pineapple so it's very juicy again juicy mouth-watering citruses to start but then boom this fragrance takes a an unexpected turn a twist you're hit with far fir balsam you're hit with an overdose of oak moss you have this beautiful sandalwood it's very very masculine the type of fragrance again kind of like Boada portugal what i said with that fragrance this is going to put hairs on your chest it harkens back to fragrances of the the old days, you know, the 80s powerhouse fragrances. If you can picture fragrances like that, that's truly what Apex is. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is a sophisticated, primal, just earthy, moss-heavy fragrance. When I spray this fragrance on, the first color, because I know many of you, like myself, we see fragrance in color. To me, it's the bottle. It's dark, that dark green to black. I don't see black, but I definitely see the dark green when I smell this. That's the type of fragrance that uh, that this is. Very dark, mysterious. Will definitely have people asking you what you're wearing because they just don't make fragrances like this anymore. And it's a shame, but I am glad that Raja Parfum did what they did when they composed this fragrance, when he composed this fragrance, because this is just... Absolutely stunning, guys. Get your nose on this when the opportunity presents itself proper. It's Raja's Apex. The next fragrance that I'm going to be talking about, guys, comes from the house of Goldfield and Banks. But this here is an underrated gem from the house. This is Desert Rosewood. This stuff is fantastic. So with this particular collection here, they like to take an ingredient from Australia, from their uh, their homeland, and put it into their uh, their perfume. So here you have Australian uh, Desert Rosewood. You have Mandarin. You have Cardamom. So ah, Cardamom keeps coming up here. And I got to tell you, 
I love the note of cardamom. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. You have this dry, and that's the whole thing with this fragrance. It's a pretty dry, woody experience here. You have this heady, patchouli, warm amber. It's a sweet amber, too, that they're using here. Sometimes amber can go in a spicy direction, a woody direction. Sometimes it can be even challenging and very hard to wear here. It's none of those things. It's just, it's a very sweet, I already said sweet amber. It's a sweet amber and it's a joy to wear. I just, I love this fragrance so much. This will definitely make my niche list. That'll be coming up next week. But yeah, Desert Rosewood, guys. Definitely check this one out. It doesn't get enough love. I don't understand why it performs great on me. Um, the scent profile overall is phenomenal. It's stunning. That's going. That's a great fragrance right there. Desert Rosewood for the office, date nights, clubbing. It does well on all of those occasions. I don't understand why it doesn't get any love. I, I don't know. I don't get it. But Desert Rosewood, I promise you, you get your nose on that. Come back to me and tell me how much you enjoy it. I would love to hear your thoughts. The last fragrance that I'm going to be talking about with you guys today. You guys know how I've been doing this for the last year. I do save my favorite for last. And that's Santal Wood from the house of Theodores Calentinos. This house is out of Greece and this fragrance is phenomenal. Sandalwood, patchouli, oud, rum, labdanum with cystus. Now, the cystus in this versus the sticky sweet cystus in uh, Danae from Argos is this is more of a sap-like consistency or texture. Like you could roll it up in a ball and kind of play with it in your fingers. That's, that's the kind of, I know, really weird way to describe a note in perfume, right? That's because I'm a freaking weirdo, all right? But this one here, so the oud. The oud here is smoky but wearable. It's not barnyardy. It's not animalistic. It's very, very wearable, not in a designer way, in a niche way where it's still, you know, you have to appreciate a nice smoky nuance within your fragrances to be able to appreciate this fragrance. Now, the patchouli here is a little bit more green, so it's not going to be heady. It's not going to have you smelling like a damp, wet, you know, forest Again, I don't mind smelling like that, but I know many of you out there don't really care for that. The patchouli adds a nice creamy feel here, while the rum adds a bit of this sweet boozy, almost has a mysterious way about it because it's sweet, boozy, and in combination with everything else going on, it just adds that bit of an edge, that bit of mysteriousness to the fragrance. At least to me, that's what it does. Now, one note that's not credited here that I always pick up on my skin is rose. There is a faint rose note here. And honestly, this fragrance reminds me of a modern day sheep fragrance. That's kind of what it reminds me of. I'm not quite sure if that makes sense or conveys the proper message to you, but that's what I get when I smell this. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you where this ranks in my list of Theodores Calentinos uh, fragrances because I'm going to be doing a house overview on the brand here very soon. Probably not this week. I'm thinking next week. But guys, definitely check that out when the video drops. <sighs> this fragrance is fire. I absolutely love this one. It's so good. Grab yourself a discovery kit and uh, yeah, get your nose on some Theodores Calentinos fragrances. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's masculine woodsy fragrances. Let me know in that comment section below. Did I speak of any of your favorite fragrances? I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, you know the deal. Take care of each other. Love each other. Respect everyone. I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Until then, take care of yourself. Peace. I love you guys.